Okay, so this is going to be a quick Charles or Cody um, vlog post this time. I was on Facebook and on one of the Unity groups somebody posted um, a script to shake the camera. I'm really sorry, I forgot who it was and I couldn't find the script because I wanted to implement the script and then compare it to my shader version. Uh, we had like a, a quick chat on, on, on Facebook and, and basically says, oh yeah, I'll, I'll probably, I might be able to do that as a, as a quick Charles or Cody um, post and I think they joined the Facebook page as well, Charles or Cody. So hopefully they'll get to see, <laughs> see my shader implementation and then they can compare the two and they can decide whether their, their scripted CPU uh, version works better than or better for them than this um, shader version. Now the original shader version I did for um, for Jay on for Gear Gauntlet, which I'm helping out on little bits, and he kind of wanted an effect so that when when the cog, if you've not seen Gear Gauntlet, it's a pretty cool rage game, so bloody nightmare to play. I'm not very very good at it. Uh, basically, you've got to get through these these various levels and mazes uh, without dying effectively. Uh, and one of the ways to die is to hit blocks or um, these like spinning blades as well that can damage you and on like an easy level on well, on normal level you've got a health bar so when you collide with these things Jay wanted like a, 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 a camera shake effect effectively to to show you know that you're that you're taking damage give a bit of a visual aid to the player so that was the reason behind the original uh, bit of code for this and it's quite simple really so it's a script on the camera obviously because I'm using I'm doing a full full scene um, image effect. So whenever whenever the the method gets called on the, on the as you can see I've got it there camera shake. Whenever that the method's called to do shake, it simply just it sets it off. It does the camera shake and away we go. So we have a quick look at that. So I've built this really simple simple scene that we can look around in. So obviously gear going it's in 2D, but this just shows that it's a full full screen effect can be applied in 2D and 3D. Um, so what I've done is I've wired up my F1 key, so when I hit that, it's going to cause the uh, cause the scene to shake. And you say we've got like a duration value, the shader it's going to use. I'm, if I do this as an asset, I'll probably pack that into the script so you don't have to set it. And then the shake size, which is literally how far it's going to shake along the X and the Y coordinates. Um, so if I hit F1 now, you'll be able to see. Very, very mild, simple shaking. We can extend the duration. The duration is probably a bad, bad name for that. It's not actually the duration. It's kind of the, the speed it's going to deplete, the, the 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 time it takes to do the shake. So if I set that at point one, it will do it quite quickly. So it will be a short, sharp shake. Yeah, like that. If I set it to, I think I've got my offset at point five, which I'll probably make an actual variable rather than having a hard coded value that it literally hardly calls it at all as you can see whereas if I set that to point oh oh one, that should give us a longer shake like that yeah, it's going on for quite a bit and as you can see it's flipping the X and Y shake values but it's doing it kind of randomly so you don't get like a uniform shake it's kind of shaking it around in different in different directions so if we set that back to oh, no, 01 again Let's have a quick look at that, yeah, so we get that nice shake. So we could just, if we wanted to, just shake the X coordinate. Yeah, so there's no up and down shake at all. Or we could shake just the Y. So there's only up and down. Well, as we do, is them both. And you could obviously have set uh, one to be greater than the other, so that's going to shake more up and down than it is across. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it really. It's quite simple Simple to use. You obviously can set these parameters at runtime through your scripts uh, on your script uh, Let's have a quick look at the code So in the script I've got the duration, the shader itself, the shake size um, And then the shake value which is kind of... Am I actually using that? I should have tidied this up really, shouldn't I, before I did it? Yeah, I don't think I am Oh yeah, that's oh, that's the uh, that's just the parameter. Yes, I'm not using that. That's redundant. That can go. Uh, and then the current time. The current time I'm just setting to point oh five whenever they call do shake. So that's and as you can see, my F1 calls do shake. So what that's going to do is just count down using the duration of the speed of how how quickly it counts down when the current times 
while the current time is greater than zero it's gonna it's gonna call the effect effectively uh, otherwise it just lets the camera render whatever it's gonna render so our material which we've set up and populated it with a shader uh, we pass in the source texture so that's the scene and then the shake value that we want to shake it by which I'm just using a so it's a, just passing in a vector 2 and using basically a cosine and, and sine uh, randomly generated for the size of the shake that we want so in the shader if we take a look at this now again really simple there's not even any I've not even set up properties for it uh, it's just a vertex fragment shader shader the vertex uh, shader's routine simple stuff sets up the, the position of the vertices for the for the quad to be drawn the UVs for it and then all I do is simply double sample the scene but one with the shake offset that we're passing in and then just lurk between the two uh, at half that so you get kind of a yeah, a bit of a blend yeah so we've got the cull off z right off z test always so that's basically I think I just created a, a regular um, so in, in unity a regular yeah unlit shader I think I used oh no of course I didn't I'd use an image image effect shader which would give me those parameters uh, yeah so basically what it's doing is is blending those two offset um, scene textures over time to get the to get the shake effect and yeah it gives a, a reasonably uh, I think it gives a reasonable effect actually now I did actually start off doing it in a script because I thought oh you know I don't have to use shaders for everything I'll give it a go in a script and uh, I just I didn't like I didn't like how it looked the behavior of it wasn't very very good really so yeah so um so yeah so that's the um camera shape shader script basically i'll uh, i'll do a package for it and put it onto the charles will code it um facebook page and you can all download and have a play and have a look obviously comment say whatever you like about it whether you think it's any good or no good or if you can think of any improvements that'd be brilliant um and hopefully before christmas i'll get um a full vlog posting when I'm going to start talking about um, compute and geometry shaders as you can appreciate it's quite a, um, it's not that not really complicated subject computing vertex uh, computing jump shaders but uh, for me to try and explain <laughs> what I'm doing in it I want to try and get you know not mislead you with any information I want to try and get it as accurate as I possibly can so hopefully before Christmas um, I'll do another vlog post anyway thanks for listening have a good one